Hey, welcome everybody back to the second two sections of the exam paper. So you use this video in in conjunction with the video I sent last week and the worksheets just in order to practice for your exam. So as usual, log on to LME TV and click on staff email. When you come in here and I'm using a fake student account, uh, when you come in here, uh, you will get an email from me with the Hunger Games. OK, so what I want you to do is I want you to click on the little arrow that's in the email and go save to OneDrive. OK, so I'm going to save that to OneDrive. What that will do is it'll put a copy of this into your OneDrive. And this will be important for the exam. That's exactly how it's going to run on the exam. We'll have set this up before we press the clock on the exam. OK, so then you'll come over to Outlook and go into your OneDrive because that's where we're going to work from now. So in your OneDrive, so when you click on your OneDrive, you'll see attachments. OK. OK, so there's a pre uh, type of document for you to edit. Now I'm just going to bring in the the um, questions so that you'll be able to see them. OK, so it's asked you to open the Hunger Games, sent you by email, save the document as your name, the Hunger Games in your Mach 1 folder. OK, so you're going to go file, save as. OK, and make sure that you save it into and you're going to be calling it your name. The Hunger Games, so I'll be calling this if I was Andrew Smith, which is, this is Smith Hunger Games, and I make sure I save it into the right folder. So I'll click on there and uh, I haven't created the folder here, so I'm going to create it now. But you would have created a, a folder from last week called Your Name Moxo Andrew Smith. You would have this already created from last week, so I'm going to go in there and that's where I am going to save work nope. and you submit the hunger games and it's saved into my mock one folder so i'm not going to show you how to do all of this because a lot of it is uh pretty much the same as a uh, normal word but the likes of copy the first sentence again you're just going to select okay and from the whole menu you can press copy okay Copy, cut and paste. OK, so that's the same for copy, for cut the paragraph, delete the paragraph, just get rid of it. Split the paragraph is literally just find where they want you to split it. And press enter. OK, that splits the paragraph. Select all the text in the document and change to Arial size 12. So in order to select all the doc all the text in the document, just press control and A and that will select everything. And then you can come up here. You're in your home menu and you can select whatever um font and size that they want again center the main heading okay. so to center the main heading which all your centering options are going to be in here okay um change the color indentation OK, I'm just going to expand this. Indentation. To indent the paragraph, you simply just bring your cursor to where the paragraph starts. And these are your indentation buttons. So you indent to get rid of it. OK. Uh, change the line spacing. So again, out. And have line space oh, sorry, that's not spacing here and if you want line spacing make sure that you that you select control and a will select all your text and then if you can't find something so you're looking along here and you're like i just don't, i don't see line spacing that's text alignment that's indentation that's numbering that's bulleting where could this be these three dots are called ellipses okay and they give more options so that's more options for the font section and i see what I want there. So I'm going to go down to the other more options, which is down here. Oh, there's line spacing. Oh, great. I can do 1.5. OK, so just a reminder that the ellipses, the little dots, give more options. If you're trying to find something that you know should be in Word and can't find it, try and look in there. Create a bulleted list. Again, 
you have your bulleted lists here. Okay, so there's your bulleted lists. Okay. Now, for headers, as we were discussing in class, you can't see them. You've got to kind of trust that they're there. But as Martin pointed out, you'll know it because you'll see the little tag here saying header. Okay, so just simply insert header. You'll see them for the minute. So this is asking me to insert header of my name. And the copyright symbol. So again, go up to symbol. And right, and there's copyright. And click back out as you would. OK, so now I have a header. OK, now change the margin oh, and insert a page number. Then again, it's the same insert. Just make sure that you select instead of footer, select page number. And these are the ones for the top. But we want a page number in the footer. So we're going to select that. For the you'll see that it's there and you'll know it's there because you'll get this little parenthesis hash parenthesis sign, which means for each different um, page, it'll increment by one. OK, and close that off. Now, uh, what else is this asking me to do? Change the margins, okay? So the margins are going to be in layout because layout will deal with uh, the orientation of your document, the margins, the size of your document, okay? So again, for margins, it's asking me to change the margins to two centimeters on the left and right and one on the top and bottom. So our, being, these are preset margins or you can select custom margin and enter in the amounts that it's asking you to uh it, to set your margins to there uh proofread the entire document so before we you'd have gone into spell check for proofreading here you go to review okay so for review we go into the editor for options okay now as before any spelling errors will have red underline and the easiest way to um to correct them is literally just to right click on them Sorry, left click on them and get your spelling suggestion. OK. Also, you can do that with the blue, which is for grammar. OK. Just be careful with the grammar. Sometimes it guesses grammar and it's not really what you want. Um, so again, just be careful before you change something like effect to make sure it's effect and not effect. Uh, so you're going to proofread the entire document and make necessary gra grammatical um, corrections. So if I click on this, she found it really interesting not only professionally, but also personally. So if I look at what they're suggesting, they're just saying that I could be more concise by saying she found it interesting. It's your personal choice, whether you think that's a better center or really interesting. You're not going to lose marks either way. OK, and then you've got using find and replace uh, to use it to find every instance of the word eat with consume. So again, you go into here, if you go to home, You've got find and replace. So if you click place, you can put in every instance of one word and replace it with another. Okay, so that's the end of section two. Uh, or section, sorry, uh, B. Now we look at section, should be actually section D in your actual exam. This will be section D, which is templates. Okay, so you're going to open a template to create the following document. So I'm going to email the template over to you. So again, it'll pop into your email. You'll do the same as before, open it up and Press uh, save to oh, one second, one second. So open it up and press save to OneDrive. Now I've saved this already to OneDrive, but it'll have, it'll have a little thing here saying save to OneDrive. So you save to OneDrive and then pop into your OneDrive and it'll be in attachments as it was before. And again, you open up memo. OK, so you'll have memo there. Now you want to save that into your mock folder. OK, so you'll go file as we did before, save as. Okay, and it's asking you to save it as your name, new school memo. So the Andrew Smith memo. I'm going to make sure I save that into the correct folder. Okay, so I'm going to save that into my Mach 1 folder. Okay. Now, uh, then it's going to ask, ask you to add uh, two from and date. That's fine, put in the two, the from and the date. Okay and the subject, which is re. OK, then you enter this information. Into the box here, I'm not going to do that now, but you'll be well able to do that. Then I'll ask you to insert a graphic. So in the insert the graphic is simply go up to insert and go to pick, pick two choices from this device and Bing. We're going to use Bing. 
And it's going to ask you uh, to look for one of a mouse. Find a lovely picture of a mouse. Hope you don't have any fears of mice. Okay, and insert it. Okay. Now, then it's asking you to resize it to make it 25% smaller and align it horizontally to the right of the side. Now, look, it doesn't, we're not going to be checking if it's 25% smaller. Just reduce it in size so that it looks smaller than the one that you bought in. Okay. Now, in order to move this over to the right hand side, you'll simply wrap your text. Okay. And click the one uh, that is to the right because you want this to be over to the right and your, your writing then will be to the left. Okay. Uh, then it's asking you to insert your name as the footer in the document. Okay, so again, as before, insert. You can do your headers and footers. We've already talked about that. Okay, then at that stage, uh, it's asking you to save now the document as something else. And the reason for that is because we're going to do a change. So we need to end up with two documents. And now we're going to go file, save as, save it again. But this time we're going to call it memo two. Okay, we know it's in Andrew Smith, Andrew Smith Mach 1, so that's perfect. That's where we want it to be. And now for the last thing, it's asking us to change the paper size. Okay, so this, this comes back down. So paper size is in layout as usual. Okay, and just orient, oh, sorry, paper size and select A5. And your sheet will look slightly smaller. You may end up having to drag Mr. Mousy back in again because he's. okay and you'll have your writing again along the side here so that stage then you're going to close this document okay so you close the document then it's saying check the following documents are in your mock folder okay so you're going to check that you have the hunger games new school memo and new school memo 2 okay so i'm going to click on my file i'm going to go into andrew smith mock 1 and there i have uh, the Hunger Games, New School Memo, and New School Memo 1. Okay, so there's the three documents that I need so I know that I've done that correctly. Okay, and then as I said before, to share that with me, so if you click on that and press share and enter in my email address. Okay, and I'll get a message then that you've done it. Any problems, give me an email and I will get back to you. Thanks a lot.